Hi everyone, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer. Looking for a quality leather case for your new iPhone 13 series phone? Want to be able to carry a few cards around with you but don't want to mess with a MagSafe wallet? You might want to check out the Mujo Full Leather Wallet Case. Mujo uses full grain, vegetable tanned leather in its cases and this year they've made them more protective than before with a covered bottom and a protective rim around the rear camera. Let's take a closer look at the Full Leather Wallet Case in the iPhone 13 and 13 Pro Max sizes and see how it compares with Apple's leather case. So looking at the construction of this case, starting off with the iPhone 13 Pro Max version. Again, just beautiful leather on here. Vegetable tanned, full grain leather. So nice. Got some very nice stitching here on the back as well for our card compartment. Covered buttons, covered bottom. Looking in the interior, we have a soft Japanese microfiber. It looks like suede to me, but apparently it's microfiber. A little bit of hidden Mujo branding that you're not going to see once you put your phone in here. Overall, everything seems very nicely crafted with this. Now, you might notice we don't see any MagSafe ring in here because this case is not MagSafe. However, not everyone wants MagSafe, and I think if you don't want MagSafe, then this is really quite a nice option for your phone. Putting your phone in this case is really easy. Just start on the one side, and then clip on your other corners. Once on, we have a nice firm fit on here. You don't have any sagging over your buttons or your port openings. You can see a little bit of a silver rim going around the edges here. As far as the amount of lip, you definitely have lay on the table design here, but I don't have any kind of screen protector on here, so you got to keep in mind that once you have a screen protector on here, this is going to take up a lot of the visible lip. You'll still have some lip, but I think very little at that point. Looking at our port openings, nicely positioned and nicely sized. We've got asymmetrical port openings for an asymmetrical port design. Should be able to fit many third-party lightning cables here, although of course this case does support wireless charging, so you might find you're using your port opening less than you otherwise would. Going up the sides of the case, we've got a nice leather grip on here. Leather feels lovely underneath the fingertips. Nice high-quality leather. Our buttons here are leather covered and quite responsive, much better than Mujo's buttons last year. Accessing your mute switch is not going to be a problem, I think, for most people, although people with really big fingers might have more of a problem. Looking at the amount of lip here again from the top, relatively small. Once you put a screen protector on there, you're not going to have much lip, although you will have a little bit. And then going over here to our side button, again, leather covered and quite responsive. Looking at the back of the case, everything looks great. We've got beautiful quality leather here, full grain, vegetable tan, just a pleasure to touch, pleasure to smell. We've got nice quality stitching here in the card compartment. Some Mujo branding going up the sides here. This case is going to support wireless charging, although you should take any cards out of your card compartment before wirelessly charging because it might not be very good for the cards. As far as MagSafe charging, this is not going to work very well with MagSafe charging at all because it's really hard for the MagSafe charger to get much of a connection. It will charge, but it's going to get knocked off super easy. So if you use this with MagSafe charging, just lay it on top of the MagSafe charger or lay the MagSafe charger on top of it and make sure you don't jostle it because once it loses that sweet spot, it's going to stop charging. Looking at the rim around the camera area, we have a nice raised rim for protection. This is going to give you sufficient protection for lay on the table, absolutely no issues although it's not going to give you excessive protection. There's not tons of protection on here, but I think it's absolutely sufficient for this sort of case. And one thing which is nice is if you hate the fact that the Pro Series cases and phones tend to wobble when they're placed on their backs, the fact that you have this card compartment on here actually cancels out the wobble. So if you don't put any cards in here and you just put this flat on its back, you have zero wobble. If you put cards in here, you start getting a little bit of a wobble. But if you just do it like this, zero wobble. So if that's a pet peeve of yours, you might want to consider this case just for that and simply not use the card compartment. So as far as your card capacity is concerned, Mujo says that this will fit two to three cards depending on thickness. I guess my cards must be relatively thick because I can only fit in two. 
but once you have two in here, you can see you still have quite a slim form factor. Really does not add a lot of thickness at all. It's definitely slimmer than Apple's leather case with a MagSafe wallet on it. So just depends on how you want to carry your cards. With the MagSafe wallet, you can take it off any time. With this one, they're stuck on here all the time. But still, I think that there are a lot of people who are not big fans of the MagSafe wallet who really prefer this kind of old school type of wallet. And there's a lot to love. You got a slim, sleek design. It's easy to access your cards. Overall, lots to love here from Mujo. Removing this case from your phone is quite easy, maybe almost a little bit too easy. It is relatively easy to slide it out, but I don't know that it's going to pop off by itself accidentally. At any rate, definitely great for your frequent case changer. Comparing this head-to-head -head with Apple's leather case for the iPhone 13 Pro Max, these are basically the same thickness if you don't consider the card wallet. If you look at the card wallet, then you can see that the Mujo case is going to be very slightly thicker, but it's an extremely small difference. Other than that, we're looking at the same width, same height. These cases are very, very similar. So in terms of the buttons, you have metal covered buttons for the Apple leather case and leather covered buttons for the Mujo case. These cases are both lined in microfiber. The Apple case is MagSafe, the Mujo case is not, and they both have covered bottoms with asymmetrical port designs. Looking at the back of the case, the Apple case has the Apple logo, the Mujo case doesn't, but it's got some Mujo branding, and we have a similar amount of protection for the rear camera. Putting on the Apple leather case briefly, this has a very similar fit on the phone, no give over your buttons or your port openings. In terms of the amount of lip, I would say that there is a tiny bit more lip on this case as opposed to the Mujo one. The port openings look basically the same. We have a very similar feeling leather on this case, pleasant amount of grip. The buttons are basically the same, I would say. Nice and responsive. The mute switch opening, I think, is a tiny bit smaller on the Apple case. Looking at the view from the top again, I think a little bit more lip on this one as opposed to the Mujo case. And again, metal covered buttons here, nice and responsive. Looking at the back of the case, very nice quality leather here, looks and feels great. Very similar to the leather on the Mujo case. Got an Apple logo here. You're only going to get that if you have a genuine Apple case. As far as the amount of protection here for the rear camera, I would say that this is a hair higher than on the Mujo case, but not a huge difference. Overall, really nice, slim look. And of course, this is MagSafe, so if you're a fan of the whole MagSafe wallet thing, and I am, then that's very convenient. It's also going to work, of course, perfectly with Apple's MagSafe charger and other MagSafe accessories. And so comparing it, I mean, it's a little kludgy with the MagSafe wallet as opposed to Mujo's built-in wallet. But of course, the advantage here is that you can take off the wallet when you're not using it, and then you have a slimmer case. Looking at the iPhone 13 version of this case, it's actually quite a bit different than the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Even the lining inside is different. It's not quite so soft. It's a little bit lower end in comparison. We also have a different design in the back, but I'm going to talk about that in a minute. So putting the phone in. Again, quite easy to get on little bit tighter fit, but still basically the same as the version that we were just looking at for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Amount of lip is the same as on the 13 Pro Max case. Same design here with our port openings, no surprises there. Leather on here has a very nice quality feel. The buttons are not quite as good, they are just a little bit stiffer. Mute switch access is fine. View from the top, again, 
not tons of lip and again I don't have any screen protector on this phone if I did have a screen protector on here you would have less visible lip you would still have lip just less and then going over here to our side button this again is not quite as good as on the 13 Pro Max looking at the back of the case I do think that the leather is nice quality nice quality vegetable tan full grain leather and things seem to be nicely crafted here. We've got Mujo branding here at the bottom. Nice quality stitching here for your card area. But other than that, we've got some really big differences. Now, one of the things which is very, very different is the height of the camera opening. There is a huge rim around the camera opening here. I have no idea why it is so high. It is far too high, does not need to be nearly that high. You've got excessive lip, I think, for your camera opening. And the problem is that this kind of is interfering with the card area. So again, you have a capacity of two to three cards here, just like with the 13 Pro Max version. But the problem is when you slide the cards in, they kind of hit up against your camera opening. And it's not like it's going to affect your lenses because believe me with this high rim around the camera you're definitely not going to hit the lenses with your cards but it's just a little bit irritating because it whacks up against them so whenever you take your cards in and out you're sort of going over the camera and that's less than optimal as opposed to the version for the 13 Pro Max we were just looking at you've got side access here so you put your cards in here and then if you need to access your cards then you pull them out from the side they are never going to interfere with your camera at all so this is a much better design really not sure why Mujo did it this way maybe this phone is too small to implement this card design not really sure but at any rate be aware that there's really quite a big difference between the iPhone 13 Mujo case and the iPhone 13 Pro Max so the full leather wallet is available directly from Mujo with versions for all four of the iPhone 13 series phones. It comes in three colors, the lovely black and monaco blue featured in this review as well as a tan color. The iPhone 13 full leather wallet case is going to run you $49.90 and the 13 Pro Max version costs $54.90. There's also a version without the card wallet on the back which is available for $5 less. Many thanks to the kind folks at Mujo for sending me out these samples to review. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section below, and you might want to hit that subscribe button because I have lots of iPhone 13 series case and screen protector reviews coming up. Again, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer. Thanks so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.